Hey guys, so today I am here with Caroline. Is that how you say your name? Caroline. Yeah. Caroline, okay. Yeah. She's from Belgium. Belgian people love me. <laughs> they follow me to Peru, no. So Caroline was my guide the other day on my tour of um, Alternative Peru, the tour that I did with them. She was my guide. And so I wanted to take this opportunity to interview her, to ask her a little bit more about the company in case you guys were interested, because I had lots of stuff to say, but I think she could also explain a little bit better about what the company is all about. So we are in Miraflores right now with all of the cats and the noise. I really hope that you can hear us. We're gonna try our best to speak up for you guys today. So Caroline, could you tell me a little bit about what the mission of the company is? Um, yeah, so we um, we try to follow like the sustainable tourism rules that have been cited in the Cape Town Declaration. Mm -hmm. So they are both uh, ecological, social, and economical um, guidelines actually for sustainable tourism. Okay. Um, first of all, the ecological one, you know, it's quite self-evident. You know, you try to not um, hurt the the environment wherever you go. You don't leave behind any trash and so yes. on. Then um, socially, it's about respect, about creating like a right and respectful image of um, people that you visit, and not enforcing certain negative stereotypes. Yes. Um, then economically, it's about adding to um, local communities, helping out local communities. So not all of the money um, of tourism here in Peru would go to like the big tourism industry, but would also go to the local people and, and add to the real Peruvians. That's really great. So how do you apply that sustainability to your tours? How do you do that? Um, for example, in the tour that you did, um, from the very start, we worked together with local NGOs that work in the communities, and we worked together with the local people. Okay. So um, we found someone who wanted to be our, our local guide, so someone who knew all the people there, who, know, uh, who knew the, the society there. And um, together with her, uh, we went to see what was possible in that community, what, um, what we would be allowed to do there and what they wouldn't like us to do there. Um, and then we found uh, several people that we could employ there, for example, a local cook. Um, and so by providing um, a job for the local guide, the local cook, um, by helping out the NGO that worked there, that's how we tried to um, apply these, these uh, sustainable tourism uh, guidelines to our tours. Great. And how long has Alternative Peru been active in Lima? Um, my boss started it about a year and a half ago. Okay. That's really great. Everything's going well so far? Everything's going well so far, yes. Okay, we're trying to help you too. <laughs> and you. and uh, what kind of tours do you offer besides the tour that I went on the other day? I did a half-day tour, yeah. I believe. Yeah, so that half-day tour, we combine it as well with um, um, a morning tour. Uh, in a local market, so a food tour, or we can combine it with um, a morning in a local artisanal fisher market and a little boat tour that we do before we go to the communities. Um, furthermore, we have a city center tour where we visit all the classics in the city center, but also go to like some more local places where not a lot of tourists come. Okay. Um, furthermore, we have a tour that goes to the Pachacamac archaeological site, uh, which is wonderful to see. Um, and then in the afternoon, we also go eat with a local family in one of the human settlements um, and visit like some arts and workshops and so on uh, in, the, in the settlement. Okay. Do you guys um, also offer volunteering opportunities? I think I saw something on the website. Um, yeah, we work together sometimes with groups. Um, um, and then we, we, we help out the NGOs that we usually visit. Uh, so we send groups there. Okay. But only like when it can be done in a sustainable way. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And so, do you guys only operate in Lima then? Um, like our, our main focus are Lima tours so far, but we are expanding a little bit. Um, we have a community stay, for example, in Huaraz in the mountains. Um, we have some tours close to Cusco that go to local communities. Um, yeah, so on. Yeah, there's different ones. Okay, and what would you say separates you from any other competitor? Um, certainly here in Lima, we are the only um, tour operator that is only focused on sustainable tourism. Like That is our primary goal, to add to local communities and to help them out. Um, there's many other tour operators. Some of them have like one uh, community tour, but there's none of them that are purely and only um, for sustainable tourism here in Lima. Okay, yeah. so you guys are the first. Awesome. Yeah. 
And do the guides that do these tours, do they all speak English? Um, our local guides don't all speak English. Um, but uh, on every tour there's a tour leader that speaks both Spanish and English. So we can always translate for you if you don't speak Spanish. Okay, that's really great. Yeah. And how do donations work? Because I think you mentioned on the tour that I went on that sometimes when the people come and they take the tours with you, they want to donate to these communities in some way. So how does that work? How do you do that? Um, well, first of all, if you take our tour, already like part of the profit is a donation to an NGO. And also we provide, of course, income for local people by, you know, having them be our cook or our guide or so on. So, like, much of your money is gonna already flow to, to um, local communities. Yeah. Um, if you want to donate more, um, we provide the opportunity to donate to the NGOs directly. But there's also lots of other things. For example, recently there was um, a couple that visited us. They met this boy that wants to go to study at the university but doesn't have money to do so. Yeah. So now the couple offered to give him a scholarship wow. to go to uh, university for five years. Um, there so was someone great. else um, who heard the story of, of one of the local ladies that she was getting headaches because she couldn't read well. You know, she needed glasses. Yeah. So the couple um, donated the money and we bought glasses for, for the local lady. So those are some opportunities. It's really great. Okay, so I think that's it. Are there any other comments or things that you would like to say? No, no, just come and check it out. Okay, there's an airplane flying over our heads. Sorry about the noise, but definitely be sure to check out Alternative Peru. I really enjoyed the tour. You guys already know from my video, it really changed the way I view life in Lima and it really motivated me to want to do more to try to help people in my country out so be sure to check them out they're trying to promote sustainability here and help improve the quality of life in these communities and to be able to have these people also interact with people from abroad and uh, just have a great experience of exchanging their cultural views and stuff like that so thanks again for watching you guys so if you're thinking about working with Alternative Peru definitely be sure to give this video a like and thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this and you want to see more information on how to travel safely around Peru, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to stay in touch with me through, through social media, you can always do that. So thanks again for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.